And I sold this for $24.99 on auction and the buyer paid shipping. And I got this from... Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, you guys, in this video, we are going to talk about my bread and butter bolos. What is bread and butter bolo? That is an item to be on the lookout for that you can buy cheap and flip for a profit. These items I sold for $35 or less, which is also what I consider my bread and butter sales. So I'm going to tell you where I got it, what I paid for it, and what it sold for. Let's get started. All right. So the first item is this vintage pound puppies, Purries kitty, kitten, cat, gray striped plush stuffed animals. I had no idea that there was such a thing as a pound puppy kitty. Did you? <laughs> Until I saw this. So has some condition issues, not perfect and still sold. I got this at the Goodwill bins and I sold this for $15.50 and the buyer paid shipping. And you can see it has the pound puppy right there on the tush. And here is your Tonka tush tag. So definitely vintage. Okay, so this is a Lane Bryant blouse. It's a plus size 26, 28. It's new without tags. I don't usually show you guys my clothing, but if you guys can find a discount store that offers clothing, at a discounted price and then buy the items on clearance, you can make money flipping them for a profit. This used to be all that I did. I didn't do hard goods. I only did retail arbitrage clothing. And this is an example of that. I picked this up for about $3, sold it for $10.89 on best offer and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this vintage flower crafts, your own pressed flower stationary craft kit. This was a long tail item. It actually, I'm trying to see if that says 15 or five. It is vintage and it's a craft kit. I picked this up. I don't even remember where I got this and I didn't make any notes. So this has been listed a long time, but I ended up taking a best offer of $7 plus shipping. And I was just really happy to see it go. With that being said, some stationery and cards can be big money. I do have a video on Hallmark cards and Betsy Clark and some of those different ones. They can go for hundreds of dollars. This, however, was a long tail bread and butter. So don't, I don't want to say don't pick it up. It just takes the right buyer. And I may not have had very good keywords. I'm not really sure what happened there because it's a cool kit. This is a rainbow rainforest plush purple rhino rhinoceros stuffed animal, rare, hard to find. Now I rarely use the word rare unless I have searched for it and I can't find many like it. Um, I typically go with HTF, which is hard to find. I got this at the Goodwill Benz. I sold this for $18.60 and the buyer paid shipping. And this, let me see if I have another picture of the tag. There's the front of the tag, Rainbow Rainforest. Never heard of it. Always good to look things up if you have not heard of them. 1860, this guy is, he's just little. He's only about uh, six and a half inches. The next item came in a thrift store mystery box and I really just not something I would pick up, not something I would normally list. I'm actually surprised I listed it, but I did. And somebody offered me $6 and I was like, yes, please. Thank you very much. Happy to see it go. Buyer paid shipping. And this little guy was on its way. It's a 2000 Fisher Price chatter phone telephone pull toy with moving eyes. Super cute, but probably just oversaturated on eBay. Uh, Fisher Price Loving Family Dollhouse Refrigerator and the Loving Family Mattel figure boy with the orange shirt and the jersey ball cap from 2002. Somebody bought both of these for a total of $17.98 plus shipping. Now, I will say that I used to do really, really well with the Loving Family. I have a whole, I don't know, maybe tote, maybe two totes full that I need to list. I just haven't gotten around to it. I've sold most of my items. I do kind of feel like the market is saturated right now. So I'm kind of just holding off on that and going to just wait it out a little bit and see if these items pick up again. So 
Lane Bryant women's pants. This is another item that I picked up at a discount store, probably paid a dollar to three dollars for them. I cannot remember what I used to do is go into this store and I would buy like <laughs> carts and carts and carts full, except they didn't have carts. So you had to take arms full up and just throw them on the counter and not fun. But anyway, I would average out my receipt at the end. It would say at the end of the receipt how many items I purchased and I would divide that by my total. And it was usually around $3 per item. So we'll say three bucks for this. I have sold 16. I have 17 available. This is a listed and forget it multi-quantity item. These are fantastic. If you sell clothes and you can buy a whole bunch of one item and just let it sell over and over and over again, fantastic. Sold these for $12.40 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item are these vintage Martex towels. I got these at a garage sale for a dollar. They are reversible. Now, they did have some condition issues. I ended up taking a best offer of $20 because I was just getting impatient. I think I had them listed too high. Had they been in perfect condition, I think I could have gotten more than my asking price. But see, there's a stain here. So I just went ahead and took the 20 bucks plus shipping on that. But vintage towels can definitely be a bolo. This is a Cabbage Patch Kids birth certificate. I picked up a bunch of Cabbage Patch Kids clothes at a garage sale and they threw in like, uh, I want to say five to eight birth certificates. I can't remember how many. I think this is the third one I've sold. So definitely be on the lookout for these. This one I sold for a best offer of $10 plus shipping. This is a vintage Tanks a Lot Solar Gas Plastic Coin Bank Advertising Beacon Plastics. It is a little piggy bank and I sold this for $24.99 on auction and the buyer paid shipping and I got this from Pinky's secondhand store. I didn't actually buy it from her. She sent me a mystery box to unbox for you guys and this is one of the items that was in it that already sold. So that video will be coming soon. I'm going to unbox it, show you all the awesome stuff she sent me. I mean, you can tell she watches what I sell because everything in this box was super me. So look forward to that one. It's coming soon, but here's a sneak peek at one of the items that sold on auction super fast for $24.99. This is a cute little Wild Republic koala bear. It's just a five inch plush. I got this at the Goodwill bins and I sold it for $13 plus shipping. This is a DreamWorks Dragon's Barrel Roll Toothless Dragon Toy with Lights and Sounds. This one I got at the Goodwill. I paid $5 for it. Sold it for $32.50 plus shipping. These I got at a garage sale. There are 29 of them. They're Marbella Macra Macrame Rings Circle Square Yellow, Green, Blue, and Red. So I think you use these to craft with. I was hoping they were going to be Bakelite or something special. They were not. I ended up hanging on to these for a long, long time, but I got them at a garage sale for $2.50. Somebody offered me 30 and I went ahead and took that and they paid the shipping. This is super funky. Um, I picked this up at the Goodwill bins. You may have seen it in one of my Goodwill bins videos, but it is an artery. So this is an educational tool from 2005 and it is really, really different. When I picked it up at the bins, I was like, I have got to have this. I know this will sell. And it did. I sold it for $29.25 plus shipping. The next item is this Gans Angel Bear Personalized Natalie Heart Teddy Bear Plush. And I thought I was going to have this forever because it was personalized. But it actually sold fairly quickly. I took a best offer of $10 and the buyer paid shipping. I got this for uh, free. This is the one where a viewer reached out to me and she said, come get all this plush. You can have it free. And I went and picked it up. And her eBay store is Rich's Family Jewels. And I will link her down below. She does a lot of jewelry. So definitely go show her some love with a follow. Same with Pinky's secondhand store. I will link her down below. They are um, both great sellers and they have great items in their store. So go and give them a follow. Let me pull up... Um, Pinky's secondhand store here too. Cause I want to show you some of her cool items. 
She has really, really fantastic stuff too. I just love these little characters, the little pixie elves, just, just great items. So check both of them out. Again, I will link them below. You can follow their stars, follow their stores by clicking on the heart at the top right here, saved seller. The next item is this Nerf Vulcan machine gun, 25 round ammo belt dart chain. So this is for a Nerf gun. And I don't know how many of you have yelled at me at the Goodwill bins for not picking these things up. So guess what? I picked one up. I got this at the bins. I ended up selling this for $10 plus shipping. The last item is this vintage, uh, is it Unita or Unita doll company, Pee Wee Baby Doll Hong Kong. And I got this at a garage sale for 50 cents and I sold it for $16.25 and the buyer paid shipping. All right, you guys, those were some bread and butter bolos. Uh, let me know what you think. Quite a variety there. You know, you can see that I like to sell toys. I don't show you guys all my clothing sales. Most of my clothing sales are items that I've had a long time and they are long tail at this point. So I'm not a clothing reseller anymore. I'm a hard goods reseller, but I do sell the clothes that I have listed. I am a listed and forget it. So let me know what you guys do with your stale listings. Are you a list it and forget it? Are you a pull it and donate it? Uh, I think there's a lot of variables that come into play, like how much space do you have? How much time do you have? What else are you doing? Where else is it listed? Okay. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. There's going to be some other videos popping up here and here and a subscribe and a video down below. Check out one of those. I'd love for you to check out another video. Thanks for watching.